So when we talk about glide, what we're really talking about is the different temperatures in the boiling point. If you have four components, one component might start out at a certain temperature. The fourth component will start out at a different boiling point or end at a different boiling point. The difference between the starting point and the ending point is our glide. So we start out with our bubble, which is our liquid side, entering our saturation temperature, and we end with our dew point, which is our saturation, entering that vapor point. The difference in those two is, in fact, our glide. Now, an azeotropic glide or an azeotropic blend has minimal glide. A good example for that would be R410A. It has less than a half a degree glide. It's non-significant. So when you're working with your PT charts, you may want to use the bubble or the dew point. Some PT charts, however, only give you a midpoint. So you need to take all of this in consideration. For more information, visit education.emerson.com.